Hey you! Don't watch that! Watch this! This is the heavy, heavy monster sound! The nuts is so Welcome back guys to another vlog and today is the day that I'm going to introduce you something really special. It's it's really special if you guys can see the box right there. Okay, look, without further ado, I'm going to introduce you a brand new remote that I get from myself because I sold my old remote. Ooh. All right, guys, so this is the brand new 7PXR remote. So this remote is the latest remote that is produced by Futaba. So you guys know me, I love Futaba. Uh, one of the brand that I really really recommend Ooh, why my camera is a little bit okay now it looks much more better is it is it is it now okay now it's much better all right guys so um, okay so this is one of the remote that I most recommend in the drifting world if you're playing touring drifting this is the remote that I recommend I will show you a comparison between my old 7px and the 7PXR. The old 7PX, I've actually sold that uh, remote to one of the customer. The customer's car is currently in my house because I have to do some setups for his Refty MC1 chassis. It's a very amazing chassis. I've already tried it. It's going to blow your mind, guys. Uh, seriously get your FT chassis right now. Alright guys, so without further ado, I'm going to show you the comparison between the 7PX and the 7PXR. The 7PX is no longer mine, uh, I've already sold it to the customer, I'm, he brought it into my house because I need to fix his FT chassis so I can do a comparison between his remote that is my old remote and my new remote, the 7PXR. So stay tuned and get excited. We're gonna do an unboxing and a comparison. So without further ado, let's go into the unboxing. All right guys, so without further ado, let's go and unbox this right now. It's one, I'm using one hand. It's a little bit difficult. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna stick the camera right here. Right here, I don't know if you guys can see it. Hopefully you guys can. So, this is the unboxing of the 7 Oh, Okay, so this is the charger. I don't know why the charger just popped out like that. Let me see if I can get a hole with a better side of view. So this is the 7PXR. Guys, there's a lot of changes within this 7PXR, so let's see. Uh, first, you got your uh, 7PXR instruction manual, and then they give you is a screen protector. So I'm not gonna install the screen protector because I have no idea how to. So I'm basically going to a phone shop and basically install my 7PXR uh, screen protector. So that's very, very important. So they give you everything in general that's in English. Uh, it's a full uh, English. Uh, instruction uh, they do have Japanese one if you get the Japan version but this is the English version so we got it in Malaysia so now it's time to open it up ding ding okay so it comes with all right let's see if I can bend down the camera a little bit and let's get the correct angle okay guys so let me put that away aside that's my vape all right so, uh, it comes with a charger, definitely one of the charger, and then uh, they give you two receivers, alright guys, this is a two receiver, they give you an extra wheel uh, for your control, so if your hands is slightly bigger, uh, then you can use this and then just control from there. Uh, I might change, I might not, uh, I will see from there. And then here comes your remote, so uh, let's unbox the remote right now okay looks fantastic guys all right so it comes with a battery the battery is already in so the next thing is it comes with the tool uh, for your 7px uh, Futaba receiver for you to connect it um, uh, towards your receiver so you can bind it to your remote and then they give you uh, the extension plate uh, where you can actually put this and extend your your remote from your side so you can put it uh, very aggressively you want it more to this side or uh, 
more to that side depends on you right so this is an ideal position for me uh, this is a very nice ideal position for me because I like to hold my remote this way not this way but this way all right Futaba remote uh, we'll go into that a little bit later uh, you can actually swap uh, the position of this part from your if you're left-handed you can go on to the left hand and then they give you a couple of spare parts uh, like the connector pins and then they give you the trigger as well so they got a pin trigger as well they give you an extra pin trigger and some couple of tools that's very very nice so this comes with a battery okay let me just open this up so this comes with a battery as well so this battery is slightly slimmer than the thicker one so this one i think it's approximately 1100 mah uh, the thicker one is much more better but it's longer capacity but this will do as well for now so if you want to change to a bigger thicker capacity of the battery you guys can do so and then uh we're gonna turn on the bad boy and then we're gonna show you the other good stuff so um there's a lot of changes in this let's go back to uh the comparison between the 7pxr and the 7px that is the two types one is the normal plastic type and one is the carbon i had the last time my old remote was the carbon so let me show you that really real quick okay guys so this is the remote comparison all right this is the 7px uh not the carbon version so it's fully carbon everywhere and you guys can see uh this is also carbon as well uh there's an option you can actually buy this but uh it has to be in a separate uh piece that you can actually buy from futaba but this is a brand new remote there is a comparison between these two there is a difference so let me see if i can adjust uh, the camera much more better so you guys can get the full view of these two remotes okay so uh size wise similar uh now it's no longer mine that's why this is the new owner mail from malaysia uh he's he bought the 7px from me and i resold it to him it's no longer mine but I can't believe um, after for such a long time I get to see this again. So uh, for carbon, it's fully carbon from every part. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see, this is also carbon. Uh, and then he adds some stickers for himself. So this is also carbon. This is carbon. Every part of it is carbon. Also with the this. So uh, for the screen itself, there is a big, big difference. If you guys can see in this part of the remote, the carbon is this part. This is a 7PXR. The carbon is this part. And the carbon is this part. At the top, back. All here is all fully plastic. All plastic. So, very easy, very high quality to maintain. And then you guys can see the differences here. Here is 7px and here is the 7pxr there's a logo change from there and then the size comparison side by side is almost similar but for this uh, of course if this would be right up here so the distance of a gap it will be quite uh, big so the the control controllability of this remote towards this remote is quite uh, different all right in terms of size uh, from here to here as you guys can see the trigger is much more closer so when you drift you have that the the what do you call the range that you know your throttle and your steering it's much more closer so it's so much more easier to uh, counter and uh, react back quickly as much as quick as possible so let's open this up this one okay the wire is not plugged in all right so this one is the 1700 mAh it's a slightly thicker battery so I'm gonna put this back in this is a brand new battery see okay so 
uh, when you on the screen uh, I will show you before I on the screen there is a part of difference so Futaba is now the screen last time the Futaba word is here and then the the button is slightly smaller but if you see here the button is slightly bigger and there's no Futaba words here the screen itself they actually maximize it much more larger than this and then the, the sensitivity between the control of course definitely the newer sensitivity is much more higher than this by just a little bit and then uh, if you turn it on we turn it on at the same time so the button is here small button so that's your screen the 7px screen and here you have your led but this your LED is right here for the 7PXR and then it turns red. For this comparison, uh, both side screen menu is almost similar. The only differences between this and this is the button is much more bigger and now you can put your own logo on this, on this remote. So you can actually um, go into your remote and then click um, the your logo updated on the computer by using a micro SD card like here there's a part of a micro SD card I don't know why is it like so dark okay now it's brighter so there's a micro SD card here you can insert here take out this peel it off put a micro SD card pull, uh, put back the cover and then you can set it from your system all right from your menu line Basically, um, it's almost similar, but the the sizeness of the wheel to the throttle is much more nearer, and the the and also it's able to do a display of your uh, logo. Other than that, the response, the throttle is almost similar, but slightly much more better than the previous one. Uh, just a little bit guys not a lot difference but like I, like you guys can see here the, on the top there's a futaba here there's nothing right here and the changes is at the back it looks really decent to be frankly honest I like it a lot really like a lot a lot so uh, this is a two differences between the remotes the height is similar, everything the height is all similar to off it, press it long time, this one, there you go, and then that's basically about it guys, so um, what I'll suggest if, if you guys haven't get your 7px uh, remote, do go and get it, uh, this is a really recommended uh, remote, uh, if you guys want to go high end long term drifting, because we are in the drift sim, so this is the remote that I recommend. This, if your budget is slightly low, this remote actually goes for around um, 1,006, 1,008 now because it's slightly a, a little bit, a couple months older than this. Uh, but like I said guys, the staring to the throttle is much more nearer. This one is because it has been extended. Of course, we do understand that. But if you put it back at the original position, it will not be as close as the new model so the new model definitely lighter still lighter as well but this one brings with a lot of sensitivity control and trigger as well uh, i really recommend this remote 110 percent 110 percent so uh, i hope you guys do like this review uh, today is a review of this unboxing of the 7pxr uh, futaba remote and uh, this one is definitely recommended for drift, touring, buggy, any kind of RC thing you are into. You guys can definitely try and purchase this. Uh, for this, this one is slightly an older model. This is like my old remote. Uh, it is my old remote that I sold to Mael. And uh, he's been taking care very well with this remote. He's been taking care... <laughs> I can see the remote has no scratches, nothing. He he really take care of his car, and right now he is getting his um, what they call his MC1 Ref D MC1 uh, chassis to be ready for playing and uh, wiring and all that. So we are, I'm actually basically setting up his car. So I hope he like his car soon. 
Uh, so I'm just here today to just show you a comparison between the 7PX and 7PXR and the 7PX. Uh, the 7PX comes with a carbon and a plastic. So if you get a plastic version, I think it would be around Malaysian ringgit where we are talking this. I got it for 2,500 ringgit. This at that time I got it for around 2,000 ringgit, um, around 2,004. 2000 ringgit around that price and then um, now if you want to buy it second hand the price range will go approximately 1006 1008 you can get the carbon type or the plastic type you can get for around 1005 similarities within the carbon and the plastic for the 7px is similar it's just you get the carbon edge of everything and it looks so much cooler with the carbon but for me with this uh, I will try my best to, you know, um, get it all set up and then ready for my future competition MC1 chassis uh, with this remote ready and ready to rock and roll. So, without further ado, let's go back into the face time. Alright guys, so I do hope that you like the video today because this is one of the most amazing thing that I ever ever going to be open and compare. Uh, I do miss my old remote. Seriously, I... Yeah, I miss my old remote because the new remote right now is... I got a lot of things that I need to set and I need to do. So I really, really like the new remote. Um, I just can't believe I get to see my old remote again because um, the customer actually uh, bring his MC1 and then I have to do his MC1 right now and um, I'm setting up for him. He's gonna have the best drift of all time. So I get to see my old remote once again I got really excited and I mean, it's a very beautiful remote. Don't get me wrong. You know, this is blue uh, The trigger part is blue and it's fully carbon, but this is just the normal 7px this is the 7PXR. Uh, the differences last time they have the Futaba 4PX and 4PXR. This is the 4, 7PXR. So definitely the control is slightly much more better like the 4PXR compared to the 4PX. Uh, 4PXR has much more um, sensitivity control and all that kind of stuff. For this kind of remote, I do recommend you guys to get yours today. Because this Futaba, I love it. I, I have nothing against the m17 i do not have anything against the m17 that's the problem because for this kind of remote it's light for m17 it's still a little bit slightly heavier on my side because i like light remotes because when you play drift you tend to go for a very very long time and when you drift for a very very long time you need to have lightness and then for me sensitivity compared with throttle everything this beats Sanwa in my book in my book because some people are Sanwa hardcore fans I know that in the comment section below you guys are going to roast me and say like ah no Nick it's not the best Sanwa is the best it's your opinion guys it's your opinion my opinion I feel this this is the best right now uh, I like it it's slightly expensive but it's a very high-end remote uh, I do recommend if you guys really want to take drifting for a long time, get this remote. Uh, it do compatible with the Gyro 550D by Futaba, GY550D. Uh, it's a very nice gyro right now, it's best in the market, it's sold out everywhere in Japan. So I would recommend you guys to get it with together with this remote, it's going to make you drift phenomenal and if you guys can get your hands on this remote and the 550D Gyro by Futaba. You have amazing drift, like seriously. And then you guys will write down in the comment and say, yeah, me. So I'm not trying to say that I'm right, but I hope you guys do like this kind of content. Uh, I do like this remote, guys. I do love this remote. This is my brand new remote and yeah, I love it. I sold my old remote because I wanted to upgrade my old remote to the new remote. But at that time, I sold this remote because I need some cash to run. Uh, because due to COVID, I need some cash, definitely. I need, I need cash, I need money. So before we end this video, if you guys are brand new, do subscribe into my channel, like this video, and turn on your notification post so you won't miss any new upload videos, all right? So you know, before we go, we gotta do the, 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 the pawn peel, yeah? Oh, guys, oh, yeah. Oh, that feels good, isn't it? So 
The design is way different right here. It, you guys can see compared compared to the old one. So for the old one, you guys can see it's just like flat and just round. But at this look, it's so much cleaner. Screen wise, slightly similar and slightly bigger. Just a little bit, just a little bit, guys. So other than that. I would like to end the video today. If you guys did find this video helpful, don't forget to leave me a like. If you guys brand new, please do subscribe once again and turn on your notification post so you won't miss any new upload day videos. Not daily, but videos. So we will upload on... Uh, let me give you a schedule before I end this video. We will upload on Friday, 8 p.m. And then Saturday and Sunday, it will be on 9 p.m. Uh, it's Malaysian time, so it's Asian Pacific time. So please do stay tuned. Uh, we got more upcoming videos, and I hope you guys will like my RC vlog adventures. So my brand new remote, I wanted to vlog it today and go get this remote and buy this remote and how it is. But 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 it's COVID, and for me, it's like to pick up a camera and just vlog here and there. Like ugh, it's like so much. It's so unpractical right now, so I will try my best to be much more practical while buying stuff and updating with you guys on the vlogs. So, without further ado, Nick Lim Vlogs signing out. I'll see you guys for the next one. Peace out!